More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. To me, Hawked is a game about treasure hunters for hire who are brought on by a once legendary treasure hunting organization who may have fallen on hard times since. Hawked is, a, is, is at its heart a treasure hunting game. You can live out your treasure hunter fantasy. Uh, it can be the most like extreme, colorful uh, version of, of a treasure hunter you can dream of, right? Like any, any skills that you want, any look that you want and they can use their own skills as a player to figure out how they want to treasure hunt. They each can have a different style if I want to be stealthy or the kind of treasure hunter who kicks in a door. It's all up to how you want to treasure hunt, which I think is really cool. Our creative director and our development director, uh, they've got a, a lot of adventure in their life. They're, they travel a lot, they go surfing, and so they've always had this love of adventure in movies, even from being youngsters. And so they've uh, always brought this feeling of uh, wanting to go on an expedition into, um, into their games, and this is what they wanted to put together. I think we really wanted to think about what treasure hunting would be like in the modern age. You know, usually these stories are told in decades past or from a time that isn't rife with technology, I should say. We really wanted to find out what treasure hunting would be like if, if technology was able to really aid treasure hunters in their quest. So in the game, you play a renegade and you've been hired by a mysterious corporation called Grail. And your job is to go onto this mysterious island called Exile and steal artifacts from this evil set of monsters called Disciples. And then once you've got the artifact, you've got to escape from the island. And at this point, everybody's going to be coming after you. All the other players are trying to steal the artifact from you, and you have to get back to the extraction point. I think what makes Hawked very unique is the way we're telling a story in our multiplayer space. Uh, with every season, or I should say issue, with every issue that we publish, it is not just a new coat of paint to the player hub or to the world. We are unraveling a story with each one of these issues. So when issue one ends, hopefully the players will be like, oh my god, like I can't believe you just did that. And then when issue two ends, you're gonna be like, I can't believe now they did that. We use this kind of like narrative approach of comic books uh, to have everything kind of keep you coming back and, and experiencing more. It is the players who are progressing the story. Everything that they collect from the island, everything they uncover from the island, is what is going to unlock the next parts of the story. So it's never going to progress without their direct involvement in what they're doing. One of the first things that we had to translate from narrative into art was actually the Riftwake, which is the hub where the players hang out at. And uh, Henry loved the idea of this being a submarine. I wanted something that could travel with us as these issues progress. As we go from issue to issue, I wanted a player hub that could go with our players or go where, where, wherever our story goes next, you know? So that was the point of having a mobile base. And to me, it just kind of made sense to have a submarine because I think submarines are cool. After he had this kind of broad concept of this place existing underwater, and containing like all these different areas that the players have to hang out in, then you start really thinking about how to actually make it happen. So I'll come to him with the stupidest, silliest thing I can imagine, and he gives it this realization that I didn't think was possible. There are times when even art and the world will influence the way the story is being told. It will make me want to make a change in something we've, we've created because they've had such a good idea that I have to involve it in the story somehow. This isn't a game which has been one person's vision that we're just pushing down onto everybody and nobody's allowed to have their input into it. And so we've got surfing in there because people love surfing. We've got guitars in there because people love guitars. The other side of it has been the 
uh, closeness to our community. We have a really active community on Discord and we go and talk to them regularly, we listen, we bring in their feedback and together we're actually making this game. So it really feels like this collaborative experience, not just between the team where they can get lots of input, but also around the community and they get lots of input. The best thing the players can say about this game is, man, you can really see they enjoyed working on this because we really did. I think that players will find that there's deeper mysteries going on on this island than just the treasures that they're grabbing as they go.